All right, so I'm not super great at Solaris, but I'm decent. And this is really just a video for friends who just got the game. So what, 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 what am I doing? I'm, I'm gonna start a new game. Slow, there it goes. What do you wanna do when you start a new game? Well, you could select maybe one of these existing races. That's a bunch of ones I made, the ones with this little eagle next to them. Ignore them. You could do the United Nations of Earth. That's one. Commonwealth of Man, that's another one. There's all these other ones. You might not have some of these machine ones because that's part of the DLC. So don't worry about it. Instead, it's pretty fun to create your own new empire. So you should do that. Anyway, it's July 3rd. Had an idea for a race I want to do. And that's what's going to be United Space of America. Name, they're American. Plural, Americans. Adjective American. There you go. Uh, USA! Exclamation mark. Don't need to write anything there. Don't don't make it so complicated. Calm down. There you go. Next. In front of everything. USA. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna go with the UNE because that's like Earth, but not Earth. Well, it is Earth. It's 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 yeah. There you go. Um, traits I, I, I kind of thought this out before don't don't think about it too much okay you could make anything American okay that's America but we'll call some and and wasteful all right I had one more I th what was it hmm quick learners no that wasn't it that was no 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 Oh, these are all different traits. As you can see, they have positive points, negative points. You got your points left. You got trait picks left. Means you can have five traits and some number of points. You start with two. These all give you different things. Okay, you just pick what you want. Don't worry about it too much. I remember what it was. They're charismatic. Damn Americans. All right, next page. Homeworld name is, is just going to be Earth because we're not crazy. American still call Earth Earth. Star name is still Sol. No, no, it's not. It's just the sun, because in America, just you know, shit happens, right? All right, you see all those cool stuff. Don't worry about it. You can read about it yourself, and it's fun. Um, I'm going with the Sol system because, well, I'm playing United Space of America. All right, so it makes sense. Next, next page. This is DLC. You might not have this. All this does is just change how your thing looks. It's pretty cool. I'm going with humanoid because I'm a humanoid. Next. All right, ethics. See this button in the middle? It's only if you do hive mind or machine intelligence. You probably don't have the DLC for this, so just don't even worry about it. Um, but yeah, you have three ethic points. This one costs one. Orange ones cost two. So you can do two, like that, or you could do like three, like that, but you can't do three like this, because as you can see, the opposite ones, they're opposite. See, pacifist, militaristic, spiritual, materialistic, egalitarian, authoritarian, xenophile, xenophobe, you see, it, it, uh, it makes perfect sense, you need to know what they do, you just read them a little bit. The United States of America, they're militaristic. Egalitarian. Ooh, do I want to go materialistic? I don't think so. I don't think that's what they are. Maybe fanatic egalitarian. I think all these things, right? Those are pretty. Uh, America has both of them. Don't don't worry about it. All right. I'm gonna go with this. All right. You can change it however you like. I haven't looked at civics, but civics give you a cool little thing. Um, so, well, what do I want? What do I want? Nationalist like zeal? Because, you know, USA, I'm pretty nationalistic right now. So, maybe that's good. But, warrior culture. Oh, authority. Yeah, because I'm egalitarian, lock some of these things out for me. I turn that off. Oh, look, they're all there. Same with authoritarian. Blah, 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 right? So that's democratic, oligarchic, dictator, imperial. You can read what they do. It's straightforward. Parliamentary system, faction, all right, that's what that, shadow council. Yeah, I kind of like this because of how I view America, 
all right so that's why I'm going for that we don't really have a parliament all right we have a Congress so you don't get rid of that don't need it meritocracy ooh, that she is kind of maybe fit to do whatever hmm hmm I'm gonna go with that also nationalistic zeal or idealistic foundation because USA America functional environmentalist efficient bureaucracy mm, nope 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 citizen service nope none of those beacon of liberty uh, I don't think so I don't think so shadow council all right I'm, I'm cutting that out well I like the concept of it I don't fully agree with it as much as well idealistic foundation so we're going with that this gives me bonuses you can read about it doesn't matter let's keep going this is the sound of your little robot, all right? Do not be afraid to exercise your individual right to free thought. Please take a moment now to practice. There you go. Sounds like that. The or... only way to make peace with others is to make peace with yourself. Hyperdrive primed. All systems ready. There you go. Let's see what's out there. Okay, okay. Democracy sure is... Just going with democracy because that's... Egalitarian, because blah, 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 blah. United Space of America. Adjective, USA. Or should it be American? Ooh, dumb. I'm going to go with USA. So next. Mm. All right, this one. It's This is your little logo. It's, very, it's straightforward. Do you, you know what a logo is. Don't worry about it. So, ooh, I have been debating about this. Do I go with the stripes? Do I not go with the stripes? It's a hard decision, because that's what red is. That's the red stripe. It should be horizontal, but I think I'm just going with blue. Just all, all blue. Secondary color red. Oh, I don't, don't want, don't want that. I really don't want this. But uh, I might, I might leave it like that. Nope, I'm going with all blue. I'm. It's. It, it's a hard decision. There we go. You might not know what that does. Don't worry about it. I was just thinking too hard for something which really, I'm, I like the old blue. You Look, you can be a man or a woman. Doesn't matter. There you go. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Say you change stuff. What, what, do, what do Americans wear? Americans don't wear any of this stuff. Just t-shirt. That's weird. Alright. There we go. Hairstyle. Uh, again, this none of this matters. You can do whatever you like. But I'm going to be looking at this a lot. And I want to be proud of it. So i got to pick the right room. i got to pick the right clothes. This person doesn't matter too much. Because they're going to die. and got to put a new person there. But what here really screams America to anybody who's watching this? It's, it's, it's really hard to tell. That's not American. That's not American. What are those weird vases? Stone? Nope. 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 I guess, I guess maybe that one. It's got flags, but it's too red. It's got candles. That's not American. That might be American because you got a TV back there. Maybe that's it. The one with the TV. This kind of looks like a TV. But it, but this one's a different TV. All right, we, America doesn't have blah blah. blah. We got a president. President, go spell it right. Male, guys, you gotta change the title for both of them. President. All right, a, a man or woman doesn't matter. All right, next. This is it. Look at that USA exclamation mark Earth. Blah, 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 all that. You click save because you want to save your race. And then you click done. All right, galaxy shape. Go however big you want to. Actually, reset everything to default. There you go. This is how you should play. Not eligible for achievements. Why is that? Why? It's because Iron Man mode. You got to turn that on. There you go. Galaxy shape. Well, for you, stick with medium. Stick with elliptical. I'm going to change mine to that. You could change it as well doesn't really doesn't really matter I like random stuff so I'm gonna do that and bump it up I'm gonna yeah that sounds good 
Fallen Empires, we're gonna actually go with two to four. I know, it's crazy. Why am I doing something like that? World Order Empires, one through three. Let's do it. Should I be more crowded? I, I don't think so. I think that's okay. Everything else one times. Price is strength, 1.25x. That's crazy. I, that's crazy. You should probably leave this to 1x. Maybe even bump it a little bit lower. Don't touch that stuff. Ignore it, okay? Ensign, that's where you should be. I'm gonna go to Captain. Because I played this game for a little bit. You can go higher. But look at that. I'm just I'm just a little Captain. I'm not very good at this game. Maybe I'm better. But I haven't beat the game of Captain yet. I haven't finished the game. So, well, whatever. There we go. Let's continue. All this other stuff. It's all cool. Just don't worry about it too much. Just, just, just click play, and then you go low screen, obviously, and it loads all the things like the map graphics, and then other things which help prepare the games. It's very straightforward. It even tells you at the bottom. There you go. You get this thing. You can read some cool stuff about your people, how we were uh, American communities and meadows and forests of Earth. If you know what I. I, yeah, I did do that. I thought I forgot to look at my traits, but I did. Here, here are your traits. It says I like continental planets and all the other stuff I picked. Uh, new, yeah. Anyway, that's not exactly what happened in my head lore, because obviously, it's USA, which is now, and then everyone became USA, and we became space. All right. So, before I go back to that same screen, what you do when you start the game, you click these little magnifying glasses up here, which brings you your research screen, which you just saw me in. You pick one of the, you get three options, they're random, doesn't matter that they're random, that's cool. This means things are going to change as you play it again and again, so you pick what you want. I'm going to pick this really cheap one, which is going to help all my research from now on. That's a good pick, I think. I don't know. I've only been playing this game for a few, like, hundreds of hours. Anyway, society. What do I want? Unity is pretty cool. You use Unity to unlock cool shit. So that's what I'm going to go with. The cool shit option. And look at these. Your scientists you get have different abilities. Sometimes their colors, which match these colors. That's how you know what they're good at. Geniuses are pretty much good at everything. There's a little... Mani man man maniacal is almost as good as a genius, but just not as good. So maybe, you know, he's a bit shit, but oh well. Let's look at engineering. Do I want armor for my fleets, my military fleets, that my outliner here, which you can close and open like this? Do I want some of that? Do I want engineering facilities, which gives me more science? Or do I want things which help my ships go a little bit faster? What, what do I want here? I'm going to skip the science, because the beginning don't don't need science too much. Afterburners would be nice, but really, survivability, ooh, afterburners, they give you that big boost in, uh, in uh, sublight speed. I like things to go fast during sublight speed, so I'm going to click that, because I like fast ships. It doesn't matter too much, though, so don't worry about it. Other things you need to do, go to Earth, look at the surface gonna look at your planet and there's gonna be things you can do like like clearing this tile but don't do it yet it's not necessary all right so forget I showed any of that stuff to you just know that it exists because you want to do stuff there till then you want to go to galaxy map look at where you start my little Sun place it's right there in this part of the galaxy this galaxy is really big all right it's large. There's, there's a big old black hole here. You can't go in there. You can look at it, can't go there. So what do you do now that you're here? Well, you get your little science ship. See, this is all explored. You want to right-click your place and say survey system. You can press shift and right-click something else, and you'll chain up the command. If you don't press shift, it does what you think it does. It will do when you don't hold shift on something. It's very self-explanatory. Yeah, um, make sure you survey the system, because that means 
you go there and you look at all the planets you figure out what resources are in the system like here you've got your energy your mineral your food your influence which isn't in systems and you got your sciences so just keep that in mind you're not going to know it unless you survey the system what explore does all it does is go there and make this into a fully blue line as you can see there's just a little bit blue lines here that means you can travel from here to there but the second you, you get orange lines it means you can't travel there it's 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 very self-explanatory don't worry about it construction ship you want to tell your construction ship to go build a little mining station maybe a research station I wouldn't do the research though I don't think it's very useful until you improve your mineral income because you need minerals to build more things and you need to build things so you can build more planets because out here somewhere there's planets which you can go send a colony ship to and once you've done that well you've got a second planet that helps you because once you meet aliens and they'll be like whoa that person is really weak but then you're like nah I got two planets bro and then they're like oh okay then maybe you're not really weak and we shouldn't mess with you and also part of that is make sure you have a big army so you click let's go back to our planet view go here planet summary tells you all the shit important things to note look at this food it's food surplus hey that's decent all right you just want to make sure your overall food surplus is good got a governor don't worry about it government is going to be there eventually they'll die and you'll have to buy a new governor yeah uh, food habitability resources edicts you can do edicts I you can hover over the edicts and they'll tell you what they do you go to surface all the way you got capital modifiers over here everyone wants to be what my government ethics are which you can see in the F1 screen over there all right but back to the planet screen then you can also go here to the armies you use armies to conquer alien planet worlds and also defend your own planets you they cost a hundred mineral in the beginning you click on it to build them you can click them again to cancel and get all your mineral back no penalty even if they've been building for 89 days you can still cancel it then and get your mineral back but you won't regain your progress so don't worry about armies now you probably won't need them until you've gone to war and they're expensive spaceport so this is the spaceport for only civilian ships which are down here my construction ships I sent my construction ship to go build minerals I sent my science ship to go explore eventually the next thing I really want to do is build another science ship but the thing is about science ships as we go here they need to be crewed by a scientist leader so if you and if you go to the leaders tab over here you can see I can recruit a new scientist but they all cost 200 energy that's expensive here are all the things they do so first thing I need to do is save up my energy so I can buy a scientist and then also make sure I keep enough mineral around to build another science ship after that science ship well I guess instead of a science ship you could build a colony ship so what does that do it lets you make a colony on a planet that you surveyed pretty self-explanatory I haven't surveyed any planets yet so I definitely have not surveyed a planet which is also colonizable so not gonna worry about it back on earth we've done everything there so forget that let's go to the shipyard here start of empty module you can build something there I'm probably gonna build a trading hub because that gives me four more energy and well you need things cost energy every mining station you build which is an energy cost energy to maintain all these structures on the surface cost energy to keep the upkeep your ships if you hover over it you can see I have ship upkeep station upkeep starbase upkeep same with this minerals food you can see how much food we're eating the more once this hits max capacity all the extra food extra food I have contributes to foster population growth 
keep that in mind. Right? If you're trying to build lots of colonies, you want a good surplus of food. Kind of. Helps you out a little bit. Anyway, build something here. I'm going to build the trading hub because I wanted that energy. You can also go to defenses. You can build defensive platforms. That's good if you've got a little choke point at the star place and you don't want people coming through or having a hard time to come through. That's when you want to build these defense platforms. Also, while we're back here on the world map, you can look at these hyperlanes. That's these lines between the stars. As you can see, there are more lines between the stars. Eventually it gets to a star and they fade away. That means that there is a hyperlane between here, this star, and this star, this star, and this star. Um, but you don't know any details about the hyperlanes leaving from this star. If you get closer, you'll figure it out. But that's how hyperlanes work. Obviously, you can't travel from here to there unless you go through there. So that's a good choke point. You can kind of make, you see all the little choke points. So you can make a little defensive border around you. And that's where you can build up star bases and build up defensive platforms and things like that happen. How do you build more star bases? That's your construction ship. You see, right now it's building a little mining station, but instead I could have right clicked on a place I've surveyed and build a trading post. That costs lots of mineral and influence. You'll see it pretty obviously once you start playing. I'm not going to unpause the game because, well, I think once you I unpause the game, it's pretty much straightforward. You just need to collect energy and make sure you're spe spending your minerals when you can. Just if you need to save up for something, save up for something. It's not that hard. Go back to your surface. Eventually, once I, you unpause the game, there'll be a new pop spawned in one of these two empty slots and they'll start building something. The only problem is, I want them to build, I want them to eventually grow up and claim one of these mineral energy systems, not this useless research or this empty spot, although going there and building a cool monument, because that gives me unity, and unity gives me cool stuff like traditions, and well that's a whole nother thing, but you can just hover over stuff, that's what you do in this game, and it tells you what it does so you can really figure it out for yourself but yeah I think that's everything you need to know moving stuff you click on them right click you can assign admirals to things you can assign generals to your troops uh, this is your government you got your budget I don't look at this screen really but you can I look here I like to check out the modifiers check out my piracy wrist you can reform the government costs you influence but sometimes you get another civics point that's cool Dem demographics gives you all the different races in your systems that's cool advisor you can change the voice in case you didn't like it during the setup phase you know but uh, yeah contacts eventually you meet aliens they'll pop up here you can do the do the diplomacy with them and that's this confusing stuff but you just gotta google the internet and the internet and google will tell you what you need to do through the wiki it's it's straightforward you've you've played a video game you've googled things you know how to do it minor mandate this is my situation log stuff pops up here i have this thing because i'm a democracy you might not have anything but stuff will appear and you can look at it here anomalies you'll find stuff with your sign ship and they'll appear here. Victory. This is the victory condition. Don't worry about it. It's really useless. All right. You can look at that occasionally just to see how close you are to having enough of the galaxy, but that's all it is. Just make your own small little goals that you must achieve in order to eventually achieve the greater goal of the entire galaxy under your control. That's not actually the victory condition, but if you really want to win the game, that's winning the game. Um, technology, you've seen that. Look at the more screen planets and sectors. Here are all your planets. Eventually, 
um, you'll have too many planets that you can control. That's what this core sector, uh, core systems, whatever this fraction means, that's what that is. Uh, so right now I can have one, uh, three planets total. I only have one. I can have 20 ships total. I only have three. I can have three star bases total. I only have one. These are my strategic resources. I have none. So don't worry about it. But once I maybe get four colonized systems, I can then create a new sector of which I have two, currently zero, and then put one of those planets into one of those sectors. It's not under my direct control, but it's still part of my empire and still will provide me resources. It's not as juicy as this planets in my core sector. Um, so that's planets and sectors, policies and edicts. You can do cool things like map the stars. I'll probably turn this on once I have a few more science ships and they're constantly exploring. That's good. Gives me good things. Makes me go faster. Other things, you can change kind of your war philosophy, your food stockpiling. I wouldn't change this until you're done expanding and making colonies for a while. And all those colonies are full up with population. So just keep that in mind. Liberation wars, defensive wars, uh, unrestricted. This kind of depends on your ethics as well. Like pacifists, they can't do unrestricted wars. Over the bombardment gives you different options. Again, pacifist affects this. Resettlement stuff is my egalitarianism affects this. First contact protocol. Aggressive. Why is this aggressive? I can attack, cannot attack neutral entities. Can attack neutral entities. There you go. That's fine by me. Initial border status. Open and closed. Xenophobes are usually closed. Slavery. You can allow slavery if you're not egalitarian, but I am. Purge. Displacement. Prohibited. Allowed. Ooh. Decisions. Oh, I might want to change this because USA rules. We welcome everybody. But is that really the case? It isn't. So uh, displacement only kind of makes sense. Uh, factions? Yeah, factions. Eventually factions will pop up. They'll be unhappy for some reason. You can hover over the little bubbles that will be there. And they'll tell you why they're unhappy. Strategic resources. I don't look at this screen because it's it, I don't need to I can just hover over this and it'll tell me the same amount of information species he's giving me all the little species I know about eventually you may unlock gene modification and you can create a template and modify your species it's straightforward once you kind of understand what you're doing but it is pretty straightforward you just have to know where to click and hover over stuff and you'll figure it out you're a smart cookie Leaders, same stuff. You can recruit people. You have a limit at the top right. You probably won't need that in the beginning. Traditions, cool stuff. Hover over it. You'll get, oh, there'll be a pop up and you'll be told to pick a tradition. And at that point, you'll look at stuff and it'll be cool. You'll be like, oh man, there's a bunch of options here. What do I pick? You just gotta go with your gut. Expansion planner. This is kind of good if you need to figure out what you need to colonize. Like, look at this. I got Mars. It's a terraforming candidate. Can't cur currently colonize it because, well, I would die. I have to terraform it first. But that will also show you fully habitable systems, and you can go colonize them. Instead of trying to find it on the map, building a colony ship, then right-clicking there, you can just click on the planet in the expansion planner and say, colonize this yo and it'll just do all that for you ship designer really just turn on auto generate designs and don't worry about it once things get later you can mess with it but really i found ship designer makes no real difference maybe it's also because i'm playing on like easy mode instead of a harder mode so maybe it'll matter once i get past captain but again so I haven't finished the game on Captain. Fleet Manager. This is really cool for saying what your fleet should look like. 
and you can add different ship designs. Right now I only have one ship design, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, can keep doing that. Eventually I want a fleet full of 20, which is my fleet capacity, as well as the, my max fleet size. And so I'm gonna do that. So I know I can eventually hit the reinforce all button and make more ships. Don't have enough money for the to make enough ships though. So oh well. Although this should pop up with the reinforce all, but it's not currently. Cause that's a little weird. I won't worry about it. Anyway, that's your little crash course into this. What else do you need to know? You can click on different buttons down here and they'll do things. Then you can click them again. If you don't notice what they do, maybe you'll click them again later. I, you can turn off the hyperlines. Look at that. I'm gonna leave them on because it's kind of useful. And that's, that's everything. Unity is for traditions. Oh yeah, another thing. Different planets kind of have different or different systems have different uh, effects. So you'll come with some systems and be like, this star makes your ship super slow. But this star is like, shields? Nah, you don't have any shields. Get rid of that stuff. That's stupid. Or like stuff like the nebulas. It's like, they block outside sensors from being able to see inside. So you can't see strategic information. So it'd be bad. It's just like an enemy empire here getting ready to mount an attack. And you'd be like, well, I didn't see any of that. Why? Why? And be like, because they're in a nebula. That's why. That's another nebula. Well, again, I'm, I'll just say bye again, because this, this is all there is in this video. Thanks for sticking around. Just have make sure you have a good time um, every day. And, uh, know that, um, this is another French exit.